All right, 905 on your Thursday morning happening today. The 20 year old who was shot by a police officer who says she was trying to use her taser on him will be laid to rest. You are looking live in Minneapolis at the Shiloh Temple International Ministries where Dante Wright's funeral will be held. Hundreds of people attended a public viewing yesterday. Wright was killed during a traffic stop earlier this month. The officer who shot him, 26-year veteran Kim Potter, is charged with second-degree manslaughter. That's her mugshot. Wright's funeral is scheduled for one this afternoon. We do plan to stream it live on news4jax.com. President Biden has met his goal of administering 200 million vaccine doses in his first 100 days. Now, CDC data shows 216 million were administered as of Biden's 92nd day in office. So more than 40 percent of adults have received at least one dose. But President Biden says there is still a long way to go. If you've been waiting for your turn, wait no longer. Now is the time for everyone over 16 years of age to get vaccinated. Unlike the target groups where we've made such great progress, the broad swath of American adults still remain largely unvaccinated. To help boost those vaccination numbers, the president announced a new tax credit. So it will reimburse small businesses that give workers time off to get vaccinated and in case they need any sick time or from side effects from the vaccine. So companies with less than 500 employees can get up to $511 a day for each employee that gets vaccinated. Just over half of the adults in the U.S. have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. A third are fully vaccinated. But is that enough? Joining us now is White House Assistant Press Secretary Kevin Munoz. He's also a Jacksonville native, so he knows the area and the people here well. Kevin, the president just announced over 200 million shots before his first 100 days. He said 80 percent of seniors are now vaccinated. But here in Florida, as well as Southeast Georgia, we have seen a lot of vaccine hesitancy, especially with young people. So I want to ask you this. What's being done to make sure that people are vaccinated, at least here in our area, in Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia? The bottom line is people have questions and they want to make an informed decision on an individual basis about this vaccine. And that's what we want to happen at the community level. We're really excited. Nearly $200 million has gone to the state of Florida. So the community-based organizations, people like your local clergy, your local community activists can really provide that information. And you can have this conversation on an individual basis. But we really just want to make sure that you have the information so you can get this shot. This is our ticket back to normal. This is a life-saving vaccine. And we're really excited about the progress we made today. 200 million shots before his first 100 days. Mm -hmm. That's certainly a big number. President Biden has announced a hefty COVID relief package, which includes helping businesses with paid time off for employees when they're getting vaccinated. What's this going to cost us, the taxpayers? So this has already been passed through the American Rescue Plan, so there'll be no additional taxpayer uh, question here. But what I would say is consider the cost of one of your employees getting sick with COVID. What we really want to do is reiterate that these vaccines save lives and they're a ticket back to normal. So we need to make sure that every American, every employee has the opportunity to get this vaccine and won't lose $1 from their pocketbook. Look, I've been having a lot of conversations with business owners here in our area, and they tell me time and time again, they're having so much trouble finding people to work. Is there concern that the unemployment money is discouraging some Americans from getting back to work? Over a year, this pandemic has hit Americans hard. It's really shed light on the inequities in our country, and we know that there is more work to be done, but we are excited by the progress that's been made through the investments in the American Rescue Plan. And there's more work to come and we're excited by that. What I will say is that I'm gonna reiterate again, these vaccines save lives and they are a ticket back to normal. The more that we can vaccinate our employees, there's gonna be safer workplaces and there's gonna be more opportunity to get things back to normal and more of our businesses open full time. You came here from Jacksonville, you grew up at the beaches, you went to Episcopal. What's it like to be able to use a, a national platform to be in the White House to help people right here where you grew up? It's really the honor of a lifetime. It's really exciting to bring my roots to the White House and be able to communicate uh, about one of the most important crises facing our country right now. Uh, the issues that people in Jacksonville are the issues that the president cares about. We want better health care. We want a better education system. We want a government that really works for us. So it's it's exciting to know that that leadership and the values that we have in Jacksonville uh, trickle all the way to the top with the president, 
Um, I'm excited that the, the vice president's already made a visit during her time um, in office to Jacksonville, and hopefully we can have more visits soon. All right. White House Assistant Press Secretary Kevin Munoz, thank you for your time. We appreciate you.